Julia Sweeney is best known for her four seasons on Saturday Night Live, which happens to be my favorite show of all time. But she's also an author, and she's a Chicagoan now for the last decade. Love it. Julia is also currently starring in a one-woman show, Older and Wider, at Second City. And we're happy to have her here. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. So you've been living in Chicago for how long? Ten years. Where in Chicago? <laughs> in Wilmette, just awesome. north of Evanston. So okay. four seasons on Saturday Night Live. What was that experience like? It was, you know, it's so funny. As I get older, it gets more exciting. Because really? I remember it. I mean, it was so, you know, when you're young, you don't realize that how, I mean, it was exciting. But as I get older, I realize what a great gift that was. You felt like you were at the center of the universe for four mm -hmm. years. Like, it was great. Do you still watch it? I do. I just watched the Will Ferrell one last Saturday. It's oh. great. What's your assessment of the cast right now? Are they doing? Oh my God. I, know, I hear they're that Saturday Night Live alum always like to judge this current <laughs> cast and see how they're doing compared to them. Is that true? Um, I guess it Be is honest. a little true. Yeah. yeah, right? Are you okay with the I think they're at least as good as we were. I actually think this cast is great. There yeah. you go. Are, are you okay with the political turn since everything is so politics these days? Yeah. You think that that is a good decision for comedy? Oh my God. I don't know how, well, especially since our current situation. Oh. Um, I think there's no way to possibly avoid it. How can you avoid it? Mm -hmm. I can't stop thinking about it every minute. I don't, and also, it's hilarious. So you played an androgynous character, yeah. so you could go male or female if you decided to play a political figure. Who would you go with in today's political climate? Oh my god. <laughs> Who would I go with playing? Yes. If I was going like for a woman or a man? Yes. If they were throwing you out there like, Julia, this is who well, we got. Well, Amy Klobuchar, I love. Okay. okay. I could be her. You could see me. I could put my hair. You could do anything. Um, you could take my makeup Sarah off. Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Um, uh, yeah, Spicer. I could do her. Would you go Trump? Spicy would you go all Spicer. the way to Trump? No, I can't do it. Mm -mm. Okay. I can't go that far. <laughs> I don't us. think I would be fair. How about um, what it was like to be a woman on SNL? Do you feel like there's there's been any difference now? There's a lot. Oh more yeah. Women oh that. no no. It's gotten like I feel like with you know um, with Tina Fey and Amy Poehler things changed. I mean I really, really? think they were the catalyst for change. Because um, women weren't in the writers' room, right? Well no no we were. were. I wrote the whole time. You and did? I wrote That's all. Cool. You know if if I was the featured comedic driver of a sketch. I probably wrote it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and so, yeah, I was in the writer's room the whole time. But there was just not enough women. There was only three women. And there was sort of a culture of appreciating the sense of humor that came from the guys more that I think is less now. So a guy that's been made headlines for his interaction with women, who I know is a friend of yours, former Senator Al, Frank, mm -hmm. Al Franken, who's made some headlines and battled, so to speak. What's your take on what's been going on with him in the news cycle? Do you have two hours? Because <laughs> I literally could talk about it for two hours. I because you worked um, with him and for four was years. was a big um, Me Too movement, and still am. Mm -hmm. I think this is a good thing. I think what people are saying is good. But check out that cast right there as you're going. Oh yes, there. that's there that's we you are. and the gang. Chris Rock in there, Tim Meadows, who's wow. a Chicago. I want to get that picture. Ah, it's on the internet, don't worry. Oh, on the what? The <laughs> internet? <laughs> we'll get it, we'll get How that do you frame find for you. That? So I am so curious. We'll that that um, no, I really be, was upset about it because I thought it was unfair. Mm -hmm. I thought the allegations were minor things, even if they were true. And I actually am skeptical about their truth, um, okay. having worked with Al Franken. I mean, as I say to people, there's so many guys that I loved on SNL, love, 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 still love, that if I had heard those allegations, I would have thought, yeah, <laughs> but Al, no, I just, it really? just does not, and I know that I'm just one person, but I am very skeptical about those claims, your and then it made me nothing... skeptical about the entire thing. That's your experience, thing. that's yeah. your experience. Never saw any misconduct in your four years, he was nothing well, but a... comedy is a, a raunchy area. business, yeah. I mean it is, and I think it's partly necessarily raunchy, mm -hmm. because your comedy is about letting your id be free, a lot of what we suppress is sexual stuff. And of course, that stuff's out there. People were dry humping each other. <laughs> you know, Chris Farley was taking off all his clothes and running around. I mean, like, and it was funny. It was funny. So it is, I think you have to be highly tolerant in the comedy culture. But even so, for Al Franken, he was always so conservative about as particularly sexual things like that. So while I think every allegation should be taken seriously, I don't think it should be automatically believed by anyone. I think everyone should be. That's reasonable. Well, Julia, we're going to keep you around because we're going to play a game. And we're oh, also okay. going to talk more about your Second City uh, okay, appearances good. that you have a couple more coming up for a few weeks. And it's not necessarily stand up, it's a workshop. So we'll get into yeah. all that stuff in just a little bit when the jam returns. There she is, Julia Sweeney, older and wider at Second City. And we'll talk a lot more about that. Everybody stick around.